Individuals suffering from what? Uh, at least thirteen. Highly disturbing. What is this game about? Yeah, I agree, bro. It's cool, bro. Hey, what? 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 This game and not. The fuck? Oh man. Hey, hey. Okay. <laughs> okay. What you got me playing here? I ain't got no fear, uh, you got baby girls in front of me, all of them look no more than 14. Hold up with it, man, I got a text from my mama, talking about did he already eat? Um, oh, yes I did, by the way, I had talk about that shit was kinda mid, I ain't lying. Now my mouth is motherfucking frying Cause I had the volcano meal That shit was not a fucking deal That shit was about 80 bucks Swipe at zero, 08 bucks No bro, so let's get this game going in Um <laughs> This fucking tech speed Yeah, a little bit higher, bro Um This turns down Um Curve, that should be Auto and forward time? What does that even mean? Yes all right, no real talk. Um, uh, Doki Doki Motherfucking Literature Club. I don't know what this is about, but um, I don't know, bro. I've heard things about it. I'm not saying good or bad, but I've heard things about it. I'll tell you that much. My name. Oh, are you gonna like actually say it? Um, I don't want it to be like a weird name. Um, let's just go with Dog. I think that's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm cool with dog. Below's good dog. Um Is this a porn game? Is this like um Is this like um nah cause it did say 13 uh or order. Is this like um like honey pop? Honey pop <laughs> You gotta stop I um Hey I see an annoying girl running towards me from the dis Oh this is a narration I really gotta name no I see a annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she just don't care. She obviously oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori. 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 Sayori san. My neighbor and girlfriend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, because that bitch is annoying as fuck, but it's kind of weird how you know each other for so long, and you're like kind of forced to be friends because your mom is like know each other, and they love each other, but Loki, you hate each other, and Loki, you want to kill her ass, but Loki, she want to kill you too, but she has a crush on your cousin, and you just want to put her on, but then your cousin Loki be in a date tour, so you're like, hey, kind of back off, but like she's in love with your cousin Brian, and Brian just like using her for that pull, and Loki, you're like, uh, it's kind of weird, and I kind of feel, I kind of feel uncomfortable, because now she coming to like the family, you know, gatherings, and now you see him like hugging and kissing, you're like, whoa, my bestie and my cousin, that's a little weird, and then you see Brian doing some things, get in the bag, I'm like, oh shit, so I, he's gotta like get yourself out of that situation get at the party and then you're like uh mama i gotta go and she's like where are you going and talking about some sayori getting hooked up with brian i want i want to see that mom and she gets kind of mad at you and she slaps you across the face and you're like go 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 you know help so so sayori has been your bestie since two years old fuck brian you know what i'm saying but go help sorry so then you go and you're like brian get off her and then you like push him off but then like she kind of into it so she's like hey chill and you're like uh this kind of looked like a rape but then he was like not chill she said yes in my ear I was like, you lying, and she was like, uh, yeah, I'm looking lying, and then she had to, like, punch him in the family gathering, turns out his mama had, like, some heart problems, she had a heart attack, and died then and there, that's kind of what's going on here, for. we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, talking about some, um, what do we do in class today, what do we do in class today, bitch, get your own sound, ho, and I don't get tired of waiting up, what would I say? What'd I say? Fucking dog nose is mean. What? Dog nose is mean. There <laughs> But if you're gonna chase me after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. I don't just pretend that's what she sound like. I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to move out away for you. Oh, that's me. <clears throat> Maybe, uh, but only because I stopped and waited for you, bitch. Eh, you said that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Uh, that's mean, dog. That's really mean. 
Well, people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you didn't wait for me after all. I guess you don't have to be. I guess you don't have any to be being, even if you want to. <laughs> Whatever you say, say you're free. <clears throat> By the way, I'm not. I am out of breath. But it's not because I'm out of breath. It's because I'm sick as hell and I can barely breathe. So all this talking makes me out of breath. Like. It's alright though, I got some bomb blast with I am out of breath though because all this talking just made me like I'm fat. I gotta miss so Um <coughs> By the way, I do feel better. Yesterday I was having like the worst day ever. Back pains, I couldn't sleep. I was up at night not being able to breathe. Tell me what alright, this is what happened. Four in the morning, three in the morning, I wake up, I get a drink of water, and I'm I'm so tired of not being able to sleep. I literally drink water and I leave it on the side of my bed, like open. Full cup of water just open right there, and I'm like, and I fall asleep. Five, ten minutes later, I don't know how long, five, maybe ten minutes later, estimated, right? I move a little bit, it all fell on my fucking bed sheets and my body. Thankfully, mainly my body, though my bed wasn't wet, but I was wet. I just got butt naked. Now you're mad messing with you. I was like, I was so tired. I was like, I'm not doing this. I got butt booty naked. Now I'm on the street. Not even lying. Not even lying. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Commute. By the way, dog, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I, to I told you already. I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. And that's not true. You told me you wanted to join the club this year. <laughs> did I? I don't... I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations why this supposed to be going wrong with whatever she's going on about. So you likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting on by the average while spending my free time on games and anime. This dude's a fucking nerd, bro. Like, make some friends. Like, I can never be fat sitting in my room only playing video games. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh-huh. <laughs> Dumb hump. What, what's going on? Nothing. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any you know, social skills before college, dog. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. You're like a brother to me. And I know you're not happy. Oh, no, wait. I know you're happy now, but it, I had thought of you being a niche in a few years. <laughs> you're not used to the real world, dog. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. Yo, if someone fucking heard me making these fucking faces, bro. The bad that I'm with the funny man doing. I will look at a few clubs and make some rap. No promises, dog. Boy, at least. Would you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that, huh? <laughs> no, bitch. Yay! Why don't I keep myself getting lectured by a college, by a carefree girl, ugly ass bitch? Yo, why, what is she wearing? She wearing like, like, fish scale like vest. Like what is she wearing? And why are? Think about this, right? No worship, no worship. Why is her like suit, like jacket, so tight on her titties? But it's not even closed, man. It's not even closed. It's not, it's not letting up or zip up. That means it should be loose and free and hanging. You shouldn't be able to see any curvature. No, not at all. There should be zero curvature. I'm not trying to see them things. Like, the artist realizes this is like 13, 12 year old girl. I don't want to see none of that. None of that. You know what I'm saying? Keep that to yourself, girl. Damn. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head, because I swear, I guess I'm pussy sometimes, man. I mean, yeah, it was like 2017, now 2023, but still, man, like, come on. The school day isn't, is as, is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. So you want me to check out some clubs? I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello. So, so must have come to class. I was facing out. I look around and I'm on the classroom. Damn. I thought I catch you. I thought I catch you coming out the classroom, but I saw you were sitting here in space. So I came in to see if you were still a retard. Guess you are. 
Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. So, yeah. I, I'm impressed, man. I am, dog. <laughs> man, you don't need to wait up for me, girl. If it's going to make you late to your own club. <laughs> Well, I think you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, no what, huh? Huh? Well, but you can come to my club. Bum, you'll reach you. Yeah. There's no fucking way I'm going to my fucking club. You hear me, bitch? No fucking way. Wait a minute. I'm thinking about that. And Mimi. See, Ori is vice president of the literature club. Okay. You know, I thought I was a reward that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be healthy for the start to help start a new club. Since she was the first, this bitch is called a retard. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. I said my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Fuck that. Come on, please. Why do you care so much about anyone? Wait, what? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I was bringing in one bear. Oh, damn. And not to be made cupcakes or aren't there. A cupcake do sound nice. Chocolate? <laughs> Don't make promises you can't peep, dumb bitch. Ew, why is she doing that on anime? Like, girl thing. I'm not even looking at her. I'm looking at the fucking text the whole fucking time. I'm making sure I'm reading the right goddamn face. I can tell if Siori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of it. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, you read that. I'm not reading that again. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> was that loud? <sighs> yeah, it sounds loud. I don't know if it is, but I'll see you after. <sighs> not fine, man. I'll stop by Roth for a I'll stop by man. Just, just for the fucking cupcake. Alright, bitch. I keep on hitting the mic. I'm so fucking sorry. I don't. Yes, let's go. No, real time. I'm kind of embarrassed now. If a motherfucker heard me making no fucking noises. Damn. Alright, whatever. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a fucking goddamn motherfucking cunt looking car. car. I deject. I jetted, I jetted, I dejected, I de I deaded. I follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a session of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the motherfucking classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a motherfucking new member, ugly bitch. Um. I glance around the room, man. It's I don't know. Welcome. No, she. I feel like she. She looks kind of like, like really mature, but she can get real like tipsy and like fuck a random dude, you know. <clears throat> Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting, dog. See, I always says nice things about. How do you know me? Who are you? Look, this is what I mean. You see how her vest is buttoned up. And you kind of see like the curvature of her body. That makes sense. That I, I'll agree with those physics. Not the other bitch. Oh, what's your name, bro? Seriously, you about to no? Nah. Seriously, man? No, we know she. Nah, you know what? She gotta be like, cause look, her voice, the one, the, the purple, is like real nice. It's like loving. You know what I'm saying? The other bitch is like, you know, the other bitch is like this. You know? Like, nah, she. What she sound like? And seriously, that's what she. Cause like, let me uh, back that up. This purple bitch. Has a nice, motherly, tender voice, you know what I'm saying? Sayori, she be something like this, man. She kind of a brat, she kind of a bitch, you know what I'm saying? But this girl, man, she gotta be something like this, man. Cause, cause she kind of look like a fucking bitch. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm talking about something serious with you. You about a fucking boy? Girl, you tweaking, you tweaking. Way to kill the motherfucking atmosphere, man. The fourth! I don't wanna keep on making these voices. I'm gonna fucking forget. Ah! No, no, cause we got, let's, let's do one of these, uh. Ah, dog. What a nice motherfucking sprat. Nah, I kinda like her. Hold on, let me think. Man! That's her. That's her. That's her, man. That's her. 
That's her, man. That's her. In my head, I'm trying to remember these fucking voices. My bad. That's that all over the mic. I was thinking. And in my head, I'm trying to remember these fucking voices so I can, like, know what's good. I think when a night is a rhyme. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in the situation. This club is full of incredibly... What the fuck? I ain't brought you in. Um, no, no. Man, what are you looking at, If you want to say something, man, just say it, boo. I'm sorry, man. Sorry. Natsuki. Huh. Man. The girl with the sour... I told you she was a bee. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is the one I don't recognize. I don't know why I'm giving myself an accent. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She loves the one who made cupcakes according to the same hope. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Siri says that quietly into my ear and turns back towards the other girl. Anyway, this is Hatsuki. Always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't, don't, don't say things like that. I only have a 6.4 GPA, man. I don't, don't, don't say that, please. Yuri, who apparently, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with other people like Stereo right now, too. I, I knew their personality from, like, their body. Like, that's actually really cool, my God. That, like, the artist can make me know what they're gonna be like. From, like, the way they're standing. It's just weird that I, like, I, like knew from, maybe I'm just really smart. Oh, well. <laughs> it's not me about you, cha, cha, cha. And it sounds like you already know Monica. That's right. <laughs> she don't cheat, chain smoker, don't buy it. It's great to see you again, dog. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class. I still care, yeah. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Yeah, I don't think any of the girls are like pretty. Like these are not pretty drawings of women. Like they're really not. Uh, I mean, I know it's a whole white point, you know, anime type thing, but that's not really. Um, basically, completely out of my fucking league. So having her smile at me so genuine feels a little. You too, Monica. You too, bro. Come sit down, dog. We made room for your table, so you can ask me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Man, hey, I made them. I'll get them, bitch. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well, yes? Thank you, man. I love the one with the purple hair. She's cool. The girls I have. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As so your mansion is being widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki got the rapper, Trey, and Yuri the rapper. So final grass and everything makes her. Natsuki probably marched back to the table turn. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Awa! What? Natsuki for the list of foil of Trey. Yo, does this game have like a story? It does this game have a story? It said it was um, a scary, disturbing game. Not meant for anyone into suicide or depression. This game looks like a really cute adventure game. This ain't no fucking disturbing game. Oh, the fuck y'all. Yeah. Um, some tug case with little cats. Oh, uh-huh, yeah. Um, so cute. I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> I already take one, bitch. Come on. So you're grabbing first the mouth I follow. It's delicious. So you're trying to the mouth for his man. She got icing into our face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers. Looking for the best. And I'll be doing that too, man. I'll be doing that too. Because you gotta get the best bite. The best for, like, first fulfilling bite. Not because it's the best fulfilling fight, but because like, I, like after like like let's say we keep on like like how do I spend like when you like alright so let's you got a cup in your hand like but like the icing is on one side more 
right? You gotta go for that bite. Not because it's more, but because if you don't go for that bite, it's gonna keep on falling off. It's like when you, when you eat a burger, you like turn around a few times, because you wanna get the bite that'll just like make the burger stay in place. You know, same with the hot dog. Like this side is more comfortable to hold, but this other side, things are falling off. So I don't buy from that side, it's gonna fall off. So like you kinda, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I turned yeah yeah. Now Tuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. If she waiting for me to take a bite, I finally bite down. The ice is sweet for the flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. <sighs> now, now this is what I call a cupcake. Man, thank you, not Tuki. Really, thank you. Thank you. They smile thanking me. It's not like I uh Maybe you haven't heard it before. I know I'm in the bed talking some dumb bitch. Oh. What? It's not like I like made them for you or anything. Ah, none of it. Uh, I thought you technically did. So, 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 what you said? Well, maybe. But not for. You know, you, dummy. Give up on Natsuki because Natsu, Natsuki is weird in the logic and then dismiss the motherfucking conversation. Cause you know that motherfucker's stupid. I don't know. Dude, I'm talking. You read return to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully placed a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot to the cupcake tray. Now, let me turn my music. Think about right there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my bad. She carefully places. Oh yeah. Keep a whole no. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry. <laughs> the teacher gives us permission. After all, doesn't a hockey hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ha <laughs> ha, jail girl. I guess girl. I don't know, man. That's all you know. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. You're already trying to break you. <laughs> I know it's more like. It was more raspy voice, huh? It was like, it was weird. Um, uh, that's not true. <laughs> Insulted. You're this way. I meant that, you know. No, nah, I, nah, I believe you, girl. Don't buy it, girl. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> you faintly smiles. To herself in relief. <laughs> Monica raises an eyebrow that smiles at me. I don't like this bitch to the, to the right. Kind of annoying. Low key. So, what made you consider the literature club? Uh, um, I was afraid of this question. Because, like, sometimes, like, something tells me I shouldn't, like, tell Mom or Monica that I was, like, practically dragged here by, like, Sergiori. You know what I'm saying? You know. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and so you already seem really happy here, so you know one thing led to another, and dumb hope. That's okay. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed, boy. Name me, little girl. She want me first. Well, make sure you feel right at home, my girl. I forgot how her voice sounds, because now I'm doing like an old black woman. I don't know. I was trying to do like a chain smoker thing for her. That's why like her voice kind of like, like, well, my, well, my, you were right at home, sweetie. That's like a, oh, let me stop. Um, as president of the literature, oh wait, as president of the literature club, my duty is to make the club for I sign up for Erwin. You feel me, Monica? Man, I'm surprised, girl. How come you just started to? How come you decided to start your own club? Could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate team last year, girl? <laughs> you know, boy, I like you know, you like, like, like. Let me tell you, like, let me tell you, baby, like. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. You know, it feels like nothing but arguing about the major professor and how to prepare for events. Uh, I'd much rather tear something I personally enjoy and make it something special out of it. 
Jeg har fået en gørelse og alt det gør, at du Der er nok forfølgende dig, du er. Monica really is a great leader. <laughs> Yuri nods in agreement. Ah, right, Yuri, bro. Y'all like riding each other right now. Then I'm surprised that... I'm surprised there aren't people in the club yet, you feel me? It must be hard to start a new club, you heard? You can... You can put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all of their effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that um, maybe uh, doesn't get your attention, like reading a fucking book instead of playing video games or waiting for the movie to come out because the movie are going to be better. <laughs> I couldn't read. You have to work hard to convert people to your book. I'm gonna have fun and I want to work with work, 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 That might be more important. I'm confident that we can already go to the club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Alright, I don't... <laughs> I don't have a voice for Monica because I went from like a really weird, scrapey voice to like an old person to like a retard. And I'm an Indian at the end, bro. I don't got a voice for Monica, bro. That's what I was saying. I didn't expect the fourth, but I thought it was going to be three. Sorry. Yeah, we'll, we'll do our best, yes. Man, you know it, boy. Man, you know it. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted with the other new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I keep up with the level of enthusiasm about little children. So dog. Um, so dog, what kind of things do you like to eat? Well, oh, <clears throat> well, <laughs> now that you mention me, I do have some poor ma- <clears throat> Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that, you feel me? Um, ma- manga, 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 how do, you, how do y'all girls say? I mutter half, I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Not to his head, somebody perks up. It looks like she wanted to say something, but she keeps quiet. <laughs> Not much of a reader, I guess. But, but that can change. That, that, that indeed can change. What am I saying? That's probably what I'm thinking after he's very sad smile, man. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Come on, let me know, girl. Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim. Oh, <clears throat> Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with a foot. My favorites. Oh. My, fa- my my favorites are usually novels that build up deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is uh, equally impressive. Yuri goes on, pretty passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious. <laughs> by the way her eyes light up, that she finds comfort in the world of books. Not people, man. But, you know, I also like a lot of... I li- <clears throat> but, you know, I also like a lot of other things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how Vada can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? <laughs> anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Nah, uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at a minimum level. Minimal level. That this way Yuri might be, might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really, I wouldn't have put them that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, it takes me to another world, then I can, you know, really, I can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Man, I, I hate horror. That's what I remember. Oh, what's that? Well, I do. Now, just get eyes dart over to me for a split second. 
I don't mind, girl. I don't mind. Shut up, bitch. That right. You usually like the right bus. I bet you then touch on that, okay? Man, what? Man, what gave you the idea, girl? You left a piece of scrap paper behind like club, man, thing. It looked like you were working on the bomb card. Girl, don't you dare say that word out loud, girl. I swear, girl, I'll beat your ass up. And give me that bag, girl. Far, far. <laughs> Easy cuff. Oh, wait, what? I thought, I thought that said, you said ease, bro. <laughs> Your cupcakes, your phones, everything you do is just as cute as you are. What? Sayori slides up behind, siddles up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. Man, quit playing with me, girl. I'm not cute, girl. But well, stop playing. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Man, I guess sometimes, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, boy. Stop playing, boy. And why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Man, no, man. No. Natsuki averts her eyes. Man, you... Y'all just wouldn't like them. Man. Mm, not a very confident yet. What? Not a very confident writer yet, huh? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that love of writing takes more than just, you know, confidence. It takes the truest form of writing, you know, it is, is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to the readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest breaches of, you know, your heart, you, you know? Do you have any writing experience already? Maybe if you share some of your words. We can set an example and help not to get so comfortable enough to show hers. And Yuri said, you, let, let, me, let me repeat that. Yuri said, I guess, no, <clears throat> I guess same for you, Yuri. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Uh, we all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then I come in me, we'll all share them with the daughter. Don't worry, I don't want to ever. Um, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yuri said, let me repeat that. Yuri said, yeah, let's do it. Now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with the Tata and stuck in the bond of the club. Isn't that right, dog? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's, there's just one small problem. Um, and worth that, dog. And worth that. Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I briefly came forth with what had been on my mind the entire time. Man, man, I never said I was on this club, girl. Like, I never said I was gonna join this shit. <laughs> so you may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision, bitch. I still have other clubs to look at, and you know, I lose my train of thought. All girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Yo, whoever, like, the dude is, like, dog, he's a pussy, bro. Bro sees your girl and gets fucking hard, bro. Like, what the fuck? Burr. I'm sorry. I, I, I guess I got the wrong idea about you, dog. I, I thought you were better. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, dog. No, dog. No. Man, you all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make, how, how am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay enough to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Is this a love story or a horror game? I thought it was horror. Look, when, when I downloaded it, it said horror. That's why I was like, dope. 
you know. And I've heard of other people. Um, I've heard about this game. It looks fucking awful because look at what the fuck I'm playing. Not something I'm into. But, you know, like, come on. I would never play this, but, you know, either way. It's more of like a fucking love game. Side though. Right, um, okay, I've decided then, I'll join the club, one by one, the girl's eyes light up, yes, I'm so happy, so your raps are arms around me, jumping up and down, hey, chill girl, you know my hoe, <laughs> you really did scare me for a moment, if you really came for the cupcakes, man, I'll be super pissed, boy. Dynamic of the fresh all. Welcome to the letter to Claw. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Okay, everyone. I think that with that, we can officially end the remedy on a good note. I will remember the next time. I don't want to venture the remedy to become a stale. <laughs> Michael looks already with one more. Dog, I look forward to think how you expect your stuff. Hold on. I look forward to think how you expect your stuff. <laughs> I feel like she had an ugly ass laugh like that. <laughs> Her laugh fell like ugly. She be like, <laughs> Little ugly ass laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl. Chill. Oh, yeah, Can I really impress the class star Monica? With my meteor mediocre writing skills? Why do I have it bad for Monica? That's like the worst one. <laughs> I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, dog. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Maybe. That's right. So Yori and I never walk home together. T uh, together anymore because she's she always stayed after school for clubs. I don't know why my brain just broke for a second. T sure, might as well. I'm you know, going the same way. So. Yay! All right, no, 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 no. Oh wait, okay, cool. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Say, Yori, Natsuki, Yori, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go cl to go closer to one of these girls. But what? This is trying to get with them. <laughs> All right. All right. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will come to me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. No, that's, um, what the fuck? Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your pronouns. All right, um, I'm going to do this later. Um, Run Dog Squad. Oh, I never did my intro. Oh, I'm done with that. Well, I was back again once again. I know you know how it go because I know you know how it is you know how it go where right here on the Ron Dog show next time though next time we're gonna we're gonna finish out this poem and we're gonna see what's good with it oh did I press skip oh no I didn't okay I did it I did actually press skip but um that save right there they just they, they're exposing my time uh that's the long fucked up but it's like um that's uh that's enough and uh ron dog ron dog ron dog wrong gang actually that's what i was gonna wrong gang out you hear me